Alright guys, so this has been one of my most requested videos as far as self-defense goes. Um, I'm going to be talking about and showing you all the personal, non-lethal self-defense weapons that I have that you can have also. Um, first let me do my little uh, inconspicuous bicep flex that I pretend I'm scratching my back. <clears throat> <clears throat> <clears throat> But anyway, it's going to be basically reviewing each weapon, where to get it, how it's used. And basically, all these weapons are not just for women. They're for men, too. A lot of people have the assumption that if you go out and buy pepper spray or, or something like that, you're a woman. These are weapons that are manly. Men can use them. Men can buy them and feel good about using them and buying them. So here we go, guys. Start now. All right, guys. So first up is the Brutus the Bulldog self-defense keychain. Now as you can see there's two finger sized eye holes and basically what this is you wear it sort of like brass knuckles and these uh, spikes up top are steel and the, the actual body of the Bulldog is like hard plastic rubber and um, it's made for like eye gouging I don't know how well these spikes would work for just general punching and uh, things like that but definitely an eye gouging type self-defense device it'll cost you about five bucks um, it's very inconspicuous on a keychain um, it fits good in my hand I've got about a I got an average sized hand it's not big and it's not small um, so there you can see that so it cost you about five bucks you can get them at Walmart. It's inconspicuous. Not a lot of people are going to know you're trying to use this to gouge someone's eyes out. So, all right, on to the next one. So, this is called a Kubaton. K U B A T O N. So, this one is solid steel. It's not hollow. It's completely solid. It's got two eye gougers and a hard metal point. Now, the point is to use this when you're punching. You're supposed to use the, the blunt impact of the metal point on pressure points, on the temple, on the throat, on the groin, anywhere that you could deliver a serious blunt impact, uh, impact blow that would seriously injure whoever's attacking you. So that's what this is for. But this is a modified Kubaton. I believe it's called a Ninja Fist or something gay like that. But here's a regular Kubaton. Looks like a fucking dildo, right? Now, a regular Kubaton is a little bit longer than this one. But a regular Kubaton is hollow. It's not made out of steel. It's made out of aluminum. And the point isn't as pointy. It's just blunt. So this is pretty much completely used for, uh, for temple shots or groin shots. Um, I don't think this is near, near as effective as this one. This one feels really good in your hands and... The way I the way I see that it's supposed to be used is uh hold on this camera is making everything backwards like this this is how I think it's supposed to be held so you're hitting like that so there's the Kubatons K U B A T O N this one was like two bucks this one was like six and they go on your keychain there I've actually got two of these Kubatons. I might give one away to a subscriber because I'll never use these Kubatons. If I use a Kubaton, it'll be that other one. Alright, so pepper spray. Now, there's a lot of different kinds of pepper sprays out there. And a lot of them look girly. They have pink cases on them, multicolored cases. They're small. They're weaker strength. This right here is police grade pepper spray. It's black. It's manly. It's called Saber Red. I don't know if the camera's going to focus on that. It's called Saber Red Pepper Spray. It's maximum strength. It's a big uh, size. It's got 25 bursts of pepper spray in this little bottle. Um, if you're not familiar with pepper, pepper spray, the bottles are a lot smaller than this a lot of times. Um, so Saber Red Pepper Spray, it should run you about $10. Um, it's the most effective pepper spray on the market, and that's what I've got. Now, let's talk about knives a little bit. Actually, let's wait on the knives. I've got another thing that's almost a knife. Now, this is called a bear claw. It's made by Smith & Weston. I think it's one of the coolest weapons that I've got here. 
but it's more or less used for uh for survival more than self defense is what it's marketed towards now let's get the bear claw out of its case here now this is the bear claw guys now obviously you could see where this could be a badass self defense weapon if you modify it the right way hold it put it through the right finger loops and shit it's a pretty cool little weapon now it's kind of between a knife and a and I don't know what, man. It kind of reminds me of a neck knife. Those, those knives that you hang around your neck and have the little holster on them. And you hide them. Um, so it's pretty cool. It's got the nice little holster. It's by Smith & Weston. It came in really nice packaging. I believe I got this for, for five bucks also. Let's see if I can get it back in there with one hand. Probably not. God damn. All right. So that is the Bear Claw by Smith & Wesson. And you can get it for about five bucks, not too expensive. All right, now let's talk about knives here. Basically a non-lethal knife, because this is a non-lethal uh, weapon segment. I, th I think the lethal limit is uh, four inches before it's considered a legal knife. Or a not, or <laughs> I believe the legal, uh, the legal standard is a four-inch blade makes it an illegal lethal knife. Um, so here's an example of a legal knife. Just pocket knives basically are going to be your best bet for uh, self-defense um, because they're probably not going to penetrate deep enough to kill somebody, just enough to do some damage. So uh, let, me, let me get this last one open here. So there's a little bit of a range of pocket knives that I've got. Now let me show you what a lethal knife would be. Now there, there's a lethal knife, and those are my non-lethal pocket knives. We'll just call them. So, I'm I'm thinking about doing a lethal way. Uh, I'm thinking about doing a lethal weapon segment, but there's a there's a few legal issues with putting a video about guns and shit on uh, on YouTube. So obviously this is a pretty big knife. I think the blade is almost a foot long, eight inches, ten inches. It's one of my favorite knives, man. Winchester makes a damn good product. So I got these pocket knives. Here's how they look in your hand. No switch blades, nothing crazy. So that's it for the video, guys. Legal, non-lethal self-defense weapons. Brass knuckles are illegal now in a lot of states. So I'm, I can't do a video on those because it's illegal for me to even have them. If I have them. <laughs> so, uh... That's it for the video, guys. I hope you liked it. Hope you learned something.